G'day guys and welcome to Primal Waters. Today we're going to have a look at a pretty cool story that came out on June 13th and was uh, written by Laura uh, with, uh, what's the page article, Live Science. So ancient Loch Ness monster from Antarctica breaks a record for body size. So this is quite interesting. Uh, this goes with the channel, Prime Waters. Not only do I talk about sharks, but also talk about prehistoric sea reptiles that once ruled the sea. So this is quite fascinating, especially as this was found in T Antarctica. So who knows what's actually down there uh, covered in ice, what other marine animals or prehistoric creatures that once walked the earth or swam the waters. Uh, up until now, it's been said that uh, not every... Uh, animal that did exist back then has been discovered so there's a lot of uh, other unknown creatures that could be hiding uh, underneath rocks somewhere uh, to be discovered and uh, and this is just one of them so we'll have a quick look at it uh, I will link the this story in the description bar down below so if you want to come over and have a read for yourself but uh, quite interesting actually uh, now apologies if I uh, stuff up some words but uh, <clears throat> I'll do my best. Paleontologists have discovered the remains of an ancient Loch Ness monster look-alike in freezing Antarctica and just like the legendary Nessie it, will, it wasn't the runt of the litter. Uh, prehistoric plesiosaurs, a four flippered marine reptile that lived during the dinosaur age, measured a colossal 36 feet which is 11 meters Long from snout to tail and about as long as a modern telephone pole, depending on where you live in the world. This newfound sea monster is now the largest known Elas, <coughs> now I'm going to say this, Elasmosauride, a type of plesiosaur with a long neck on record. Not only is it quite long, it is also quite stocky and weighed nearly 15 tonnes when it was all alive, making it the heaviest known Elasmosauride, said study lead researcher Joseph O. Gorman, a vertebrate paleontologist at the El Palete Museum at the National University of El Palete in Argentina. So hopefully I said that right. So apparently, as I'll go on, the researchers discovered the fossil of the enormous plesiosaur on the Antarctica Seymour Island in 1989 but the best was uh, no sorry but but the beast was so large and the rock was so hard that it took three uh, returning trips in 2005 2012 and 2017 to fully excavate 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 come and say it the specimen during that time scientists collected over 1760 uh, pounds or 100 kilograms of fossilized bones embedded in the rock. Uh, on the island, the fossil laid hidden in the Lopez de Petendo formation, just 7.5 feet below the KPG boundary, the geo geologic line shown, showing the contagious paleogene extinction. Paleogene. This notorious extinction led to the demise of uh, non-vivant dinosaurs and plesiosaurs when a six-mile-long asteroid collided with the Earth about 66 million years ago. So there you go. It goes on and on and on. So like I said, I will link this in the description bar down below so you can go check it out. Uh, there's no actually picture of the fossil. No. So... Um, yeah, there you go. So this is probably a really cool story. If you're interested in prehistoric sea uh, reptiles that once uh, ruled the seas on planet Earth, I find it fascinating um, uh, to know that this is probably one of the biggest ones that have been discovered. And like I mentioned before, like um, Antarctica, can you just imagine what's actually hidden underneath the ice, except for crashed spaceships? Um you know, undiscovered uh, animals that existed a long time ago um, that could be discovered down there, and this is just an example of um, one of those, uh, one of those things. So, alright, guys, uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for tuning in. Drop a comment down below. Hit that like button. Share this video, and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.